everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. Thank you all so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to today. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be doing a carry on review and reveal, actually. I'm going to be reviewing a few of the carry on bags that I've used in the past give you guys some ideas of how I've used them and what my thoughts are about using them in the future. And then I'm gonna share one very special bag with you that my husband got me, my husband Chris got me a little while back after our last cruise when he saw another lady in line with this bag. And I'll explain when I get there. But let's start out with, uh, usually when, uh, oops, sorry, uh, usually when I, you know when we're going to a cruise we have to fly there because let's face it most cruises you know go off of the west coast and we are from here in Virginia and we did take a uh, Canada and New England cruise that we did drive to that cruise port up there in Brooklyn but even in Fort Lauderdale we flew to that one and you know we don't have a lot of cruise ports here on the east coast so uh, we usually do fly so I'm always having to take a carry-on bag with me well, what I normally do is I take a carry-on that can also be considered as my personal item, if you will. So I usually carry a backpack or a, ba a shoulder bag or something like that. And I put a wallet in that bag and I consider that one bag. I don't wanna have to be lugging around a purse and carrying a bag. So I just put my wallet in my bag and be done with it. That way too on my way home, especially when I use my backpack, if I want to, and I often do, take a second bigger Vera bag as a, to use as a carry-on on the way home for souvenirs, uh, on cruises. Sometimes you have to set all your checked luggage out in the hallway and only keep your carry-ons with you the night before you disembark. So I always kind of need a little bit more room than maybe my backpack carry-on might afford me. So I will sometimes take a bigger bag and I'll show you that bag, but it's still carry on compliant. All of the first, the first four bags I'm gonna show you are from Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley is one of my very favorite go-to places. It used to be for purses a long time ago. Uh, and I still do have a little crossbody bags that I do use. Sometimes y'all saw this in my last video on the, my Country Craft Porter site. Uh, but this is an all-in-one little carry-on that I would use as my wallet carry-all bag. It, it fits my um, iPhone X in here just fine, even with a, a otter box, a small otter box cover. Not one of the big ones, but kind of the more svelte ones. Uh, but I would put this in my carry-on, this little bag. So, also before I get started, I will put links in the description for all of these bags if they are still available. My particular version of the Campus Backpack, which is the first one I'm gonna talk about here, is not available on the Vera site because they've now made it into a computer bag. My bag is not like that, but I'm sure you can find it on eBay, but I'm gonna give you the name and the, and the name of the pattern if you're interested. So anyway, that, I just wanted to kind of give an explanation as to how I go on my flights. I see a lot of people with their rolly like 21 inch bags and they put them up in the overhead. I normally don't like to do that. I like to keep a bag where I can get to it and where that'll fit in the, under the seat in front of me. Now coming home, if we take that weekender bag that I'm gonna show you, that will go up in the overhead. But I usually keep, you know, my carry on with me. Now this time, in this video, I'm not gonna be saying what's in my carry-on. I'll do that in another video. This is just a video just for different bags that I have found uh, useful and some not so useful. So let's get started by first and favorite. Hands down, you guys, my favorite so far is my campus backpack. And this is obviously, that's all my princess pins and all, my, all that stuff on it. And I did not use this for my last cruise and I regretted it. You guys, I'll show you what I did use here in a minute. But this is a campus backpack and this is Midnight Paisley. And pretty much just inside, it's, it's a big cavernous space. Uh, and I take a, uh, where did I put it? I take, a, I take my computer on all of my trips and I just put it in like one of these little sleeves. Uh, 
and that sleeve fits in and then everything else. I don't take a lot, you guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, I just take my Kindle and uh, some crossword co cover books and uh, possibly a change of <clears throat> unmentionables and an extra pair of socks. You know, I don't, and all my pertinent information, whatever I need, you know, that I, I don't wanna put in my check baggage just in case my luggage gets lost. For instance, hotel information, I have a pocket folder that I put in that carries all of my, you know, hotel check-in information, my boarding passes for the ship, all of the things that I don't wanna get lost go in my carry-on, you know? Medications, especially if they are prescription. I don't take prescription medications, but Chris does, and he always carries his prescription medications with him. Anyway, I'm getting off on to what's in my carry-on. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, as I said, this is my very favorite go-to bag. The straps are nice and padded, and you can get them both up on your shoulder because they, they, I'm a big lady, and they, uh, are expandable and go up on my back no problem now I've lost a lot of weight but when I was heavy when I was very heavy they really did still go up on my shoulder with no problem you guys with no problem uh, and then inside as I said is a big cavernous place here's you know a place for your ID some pens and is there a zipper I don't even think there's a zipper inside there's not there's a little pocket over here you could put your phone but then up front here, they have one pocket here, right here in the front, and then another one, there's two pockets here in the front, and another one. And that one again has, look, I have a pad of paper in there that I never took back out, or I have gum, excuse me. Mm, much of that's good, let me take that out of there. <laughs> anyway. But there you go. I usually take a pen and paper. My hair has been cut since I used this, obviously. I always took a hair band, you know. So, paper bag. all of your bags are washable. Uh, you just, some of them come with this big um, piece in the bottom. It's a wooden, or a, like a cardboardy piece. It slides out. Just take that out, wash it, dry it. They're awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, I'm not a big Vera purse carrier anymore. Sorry about the light. I'm not a big Vera purse carrier anymore, but I do love their travel bags. Absolutely. I think they're second to none. I'll, I'll, I'm really not kidding about that. So, campus backpack, Midnight Paisley, but you'll have to put, look at it, look for it on eBay. If I can find a link for it, I'll put it in the description. Okay, so there's that one. My favorite, all-time favorite carry-on right there, you guys, I'm telling you. Everything else has paled in comparison when I've tried to carry it. Alrighty, so here is the bag that I used for our last cruise back last August. I don't think I'll ever use this for a cruise again, you guys. I'll never use this where I have to fly. It's a lovely bag. It's beautiful. This is called a Go Anywhere carry-on bag, and the, the pattern is Havana Rose. Don't get me wrong, it's a very well-made, beautiful bag that carried a ton of stuff. It carried a ton of stuff. You can see it's big and cavernous, although it has many pockets inside. I think I would use this more as an overnight bag than for a carry-on, you guys, honestly. It's got a, a zip compartment up front with pockets. It's got a little phone pocket right there, which was very convenient. My phone fit right in there. And then as I said, big, and they're webbed pockets. It's a lovely bag. It also has a big zipper in the back there that you can put folders or something else in. It's a lovely bag, don't get me wrong. Also, it has a computer compartment, see that? A computer sleeve that also is a pocket in other words if you want to put this down over your suitcase handle you can then you can shut it up and it is a pocket as well 
A lovely bag. Absolutely a lovely bag. Very functional. Very, very functional. Only thing is, it got super heavy on me. I was like, oh, I could fit that in there. And oh, look, I could fit that in there. And oh, maybe I could put that in there. It got super, super heavy on me. So, Chris went to carry it for me. He ended up carrying this thing for me. First of all, when I put it up on my shoulders, these handles were not all that comfortable. These weren't like the padded shoulders of this bag. This is nylon and it was digging into my shoulder because my bag was so heavy because it always holds so much. It holds a plethora of stuff. But my husband is probably five nine and a half, five ten. He went and carried this out. He didn't put it up on his shoulder because he had his own backpack on his shoulder, on his back. So he was carrying this down to his side and he had to hold it up. Let me stand up and show you. He could not carry it down to his side because it was dragging the floor. And I was like, oh, this is terrible. This is not something that I will ever use again. But you can see, you know, it'll drag the ground when you go to carry it. He had to walk through with his arm crooked up, using his muscles, walking through the airport. It just, it was not something, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it as much as I did the backpack. So I will use this as an overnight bag or uh, it's just not something I'm gonna use for my trips when I have to truck through airports. It's just not gonna work for me. Which depresses me, to be honest with you. I never have anything bad. It's not that I'm saying anything bad. It's a lovely bag. It just didn't work for our needs. Let's just put it that way. Okay, now... I just got this bag at uh, another Vera outlet. And we're going to see if this is going to work. I'm not sure. I am going on a Mexican Riviera cruise by myself next October. And I have the bag that I'm fixing to show you, and I'll, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. One of the things that I liked about this bag is it does have a, a back strap on it so that I can put it down over the handle of my checked baggage. I also like this bag because it is a computer bag. And my laptop will fit in there. And yes, I will take my laptop with me. And it will fit everything else that I need in here, obviously. It's a lovely bag. Only thing I'm worried about is it is leather. They do have leather handles. It does have leather handles. I'm going to see, I got this for a song on the outlet. Again, this is called the Iconic Laptop Tote. Sorry. In Vines Floral. And again, I got this from the Vera Outlet. And I, it was, I want to say it was still about $30. It's an expensive little bag. Uh, and, but it's nice. It's a lovely bag. I'm thinking, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to handle the bag I'm fixing to show you and a checked bag through the airport. And I may need to carry this on my checked baggage and roll just my one suitcase through the, through the airport instead of having to roll two. I'm going to see how this little bag I'm fixing to show you will work. And I'm hoping it'll work well. And this is the one I'm going to take. We'll see. But I wanted to get a bag for backup. Also, I go on trips a lot, just to Stacy's, for instance, where I need a nice computer bag. And this will work well for that, for like day trips and things like that. So this, this little bag is a nice, it's not that little. It's a nice bag. It's got a pocket in the front with a magnet. That's kind of a magnetic closer, closure. And that's really all it has. It doesn't have a lot. It has some side or a back pocket. I guess you could put your... Yeah, a phone would fit in there and up against your body, you know, when you carry it. One on both sides and then the, and then the sleeve. Pretty bag too, huh? I like that pattern. Okay. Okay, let me uh, show you my Weekender bag. Now, this is the bag that I usually take with us and I pack into my checked baggage going onto my cruises and then I have it to use the night before we leave 
and I'm able to put uh, our clothes from the last day and, uh, you know, everything else in here. And this can be, I can take my backpack and this bag and we can do a carry on in the, pri in the personal item. This is a really nice bag. It carries a ton though, you guys. It really does, it carries a ton. It also has like a sleeve on the back that you can put it on your checked baggage. And it's got beautiful pockets inside. This is a pretty old bag. I've had this bag and taken it on many trips. And you can see, I've never washed it either, but you can see it's just held up beautifully through planes, through airports, through everything, honestly. It's got lovely pockets, one, two big pockets on one side, three pockets over here, two, three, and then a big cavernous place. It's lovely. It fits a lot of stuff. It has a big handle, you know, shoulder strap. It has two handles. So, and this one doesn't drag the floor if you carry it. <laughs> it's not as long this way. Okay, this is now, Chris surprised me with this bag, you guys. I would not have purchased this on my own. Absolutely not, because this is a pricey bag. But we were coming home from the airport and we were struggling with this, with this bag. And I'm just like, Chris, this is not gonna work. He said, no, it's not. That bag is not working for you. <laughs> He said, you need a bag on wheels. You need a little carry, not a 21 incher. You need a little carry on on wheels. I said, well, Vera has, you know, like a wheeled carry bag, a carry on. He says, no, he says, I saw that lady. Look at that lady up there. Well, here she was with this little bag and I just fell in love with it. I was like, are you kidding me, Chris? That is so cute. Look at that bag. And we got home and looked it up and we were like, I don't know whether it's that cute. Cause I did ask her. I said, where did you get your bag? Well, this is it. It is on wheels. This bag is pricey. I'm warning you, you guys. It is pricey. It is from Ted Baker, T-E-D Baker, Ted Baker. This bag cost about $200. We found it on sale, but it was normally more than that. It might not have been quite 200. I think it was like 185. It was a chunk of change. It is, is this snapshot. It is, it has a telescoping handle. Let me get up and show you. That I can either push through the airport or I can pull either way. It is a lovely, it's not a spinner now. It's not a spinner. I have to kind of tilt it back in order to turn it. But if I tilt it back a little bit, might help if I get the chair out of the way, huh? If I tilt it back a little bit and turn it, it's no problem. See that? It is a lovely, lovely, lovely little bag. And it's after my own heart. Look, it's like rose gold on the back there. It's a pretty little design on the front. This is a Vera uh, luggage tag that I got from the outlet, and I have a bunch of Vera bags in here that I got from the outlet. Let me show you what I have here. It opens up pretty nicely. And Chris got me also, he got me some new uh, earphones that are Bluetooth, I believe. You know what, I can't remember, I gotta get these out. And he got me those, and I got myself like a glasses cover, all from the outlet, all from that out, out, Vera outlet. I got myself a, a double zip cosmetic bag and a few other bags here that I'll use for my cosmetics. I got a little wallet. It doesn't have a computer sleeve, but I'll use this, and this fits down very nicely inside of it. See that? No problem there. And I'm going to have plenty of room in this, you guys, plenty of room. It will also cover when I'm traveling by myself, it'll cover anything that I might have that I need to put in here, like my clothes from the day before, because we are cruising, me and two other ladies are cruising. So the Mexican Riviera. So this is a lovely, lovely bag that I feel very grateful to have. 
and I will let you know how it goes when I'm done. But the best thing about it is the little rolly bag. Let me just show you the other couple of little bags that I got from the Vera outlet. I just got a little, this is a brush bag, I think. I put my pens in this, ink pens. So I got this and then I got, I take my, uh, my business cards with me when I go because invariably I either get recognized or uh, I get to talking to people and tell them about either channel of mine. So I put, take myself some of my business cards. I don't sell anything, but just to show them how to get to my YouTube channels. I, so that's for that. And then I got a little wallet, RFID wallet. So that, you know, just holds a little bit of money and credit cards and whatnot. And the glasses case. So, and they were all from the outlet. Probably all four of these didn't cost me any more than maybe $30. And that's good for Vera, so. Anyway, that is it, you guys, for my little reviews on these Vera bags. And to show you, to introduce you this to this Ted Baker bag. I've never had anything like that in my life, you guys. I've never had anything that nice in my life, ever. And uh, I feel very lucky. And Chris says, maybe you shouldn't show that. Maybe you shouldn't show that. And I said, well, I... I have hesitated for many months, to be honest with you guys, to show it. I figure that there are people watching from all walks of life, and this is something very special to me, and to some it probably wouldn't be so special, but to me it's a very special thing, and I feel very lucky to have it, and I never take anything for granted. So I wanted to bring it to you. I wanted to show, you, show it to you. I, wanted, I didn't know it was an option out there, you know, so I wanted to make sure you guys knew that there was another option for those of you who... Who might could get that? All righty, that's it um, for. So let me say some final words for those of you on my travel channel that may not have heard these final words before. I speak these final words every with every video that I do on my crafting channel. I felt like they were given to me a long time ago, and I say them because I never know who might need to hear them. So here I go. Thank you all so much for coming by. Thank you for joining me on this one. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be, or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. <laughs> and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.